Hey guys, Ash here from c 4 Retech, and in this video I'll be showing you how to flash the latest official release of uh, Android 4.3 from Samsung onto your Galaxy S4 i9 500. So this is the official release. This is signed by Samsung. This will not void your warranty. This will not cause any counter increases. This is just like getting an over-the-air update. So what is the difference here? Samsung has a habit of rolling out software updates for certain regions first. So this time it's Russia that gets the update first. So what we are doing is just flashing Samsung's official 4.3 release that's meant for Russia. Don't worry, all major languages are still included. The only downside here is you might not receive some region specific apps and get some Russia specific apps instead like these. Every other Samsung app will be present. So before you flash it, just make sure you back up your apps and data. Most of you who are on rooted or unrooted stock or leaked, leaked Dutchbase firmwares will not lose your app and data. But still, just to be safe, go ahead, uh, take a backup of your apps and data before you proceed. So guys, the first thing you do is head on over to the download section in the description. Clicking on link one will take you to this page. Download Samsung keys, install it. Clicking on link two will take you to this page. Download Odin. Save it. Link 3 will take you to the firmware. It's about 1.5 gigs. Download it and save it. Once you've done that, uh, you will get these two files. Uh, right now, once you install Samsung Keys, make sure it's not running in the background. Alright, so now right click. This is Odin 307. That's uh, Odin 3 v3.07. Right click, extract. And this is the firmware file. Right click, extract. So now go ahead, turn your Galaxy S4 off. And now hold down volume, power and home. Keep holding it. Once you see this, hit volume up to continue. So guys, right now uh, just connect your Galaxy S4 to the PC with a micro USB cable. So guys, now go into Odin. Right click on Odin hit run as administrator so guys as long as you have your drivers installed properly this will turn blue if it doesn't just go ahead uh, make sure that Samsung keys isn't running in the background like I said uh, if it still doesn't turn blue just uninstall keys reboot your PC reinstall keys reboot it again and try it would work so now click on PDA navigate to wherever it is that you've extracted the file you downloaded from link 3 it will be a .tar.md5 file Select it and now hit start. So yeah, uh, it might say not responding for a bit before you click start. So don't worry once you select it, it might take a few seconds to respond. And also make sure that it's just auto reboot and F dot reset time that I checked and repartition remains unchecked. All right, so just a bit, a few seconds. All right, we're up. So click start now. This will take about 10 minutes to get completed, so I'll be back with you guys once it's done. Alright guys, once you see Odin Display Reset over here, your phone will reboot. You can unplug the phone right now. Close Odin, we are now done with the PC part of this tutorial, so let's quickly switch back to the phone. So guys, the i9-500 is up now. In case uh, you run into any boot loop or something, you're stuck on the Samsung logo, uh, all you need to do is just actually pull out the battery. Pull it out, give it a second or two, plug it back in, pop the back on, and I've hold up volume, power, and home at the same time right now. Once you see Galaxy S4 displayed, let it go. This will take you to Android system recovery. So use the volume keys to navigate the power button to select, go down, select wipe data factory reset, and then wipe cache partition and then go up hit reboot system now so alright guys we're up so as you can see going into settings more about device my galaxy s3 i9500 is now running android 4.3 jelly bean so guys uh the wallpaper is something i had already this is the note 3 wallpaper i'll leave a link to this wallpaper right below the like button in the description and uh as you can see, my apps are still present since I was on a stock, a stock ROM before I flashed this. 
So I guess that's pretty much it for this video guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you found it useful. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. So once again, thanks a lot for watching and if you guys do have any video requests for me or if you just want to stay updated on my latest videos and updates, feel free to hit me up on Facebook, Twitter or Google+. The direct links to all my social networks can be found right below the like button as well. So that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys soon in the next one. Till then, this is Ash here from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye bye now.